In this lesson, we're going to be solving this quadratic and we're going to be doing it by completing the square. Now, the quadratic itself is fairly easy, but it will take things nice and slowly anyway. And if you want to check out more examples of completing the square, have a look at the playlist, the completing the square playlist. I'll just pop a link in the description below for you. Now, the first step is to eliminate the constant from the left hand side. In other words, I'm talking about this negative 54. And the way we do that is to add 54 to both sides. So we do it to both sides to keep the equation balanced. Now, obviously, on this left hand side, these 54s are going to cancel. So what I'm left with on the left is x squared plus 12x is equal and on the right hand side I've got 54. Now the next step is the completing the square bit. In other words we're going to have something squared on the left is equal to the 54 plus a number squared. Now this x squared term here obviously will have the x squared and then we look at this coefficient here. So this will tell us what goes in here. Now obviously it's positive, so we're going to have the plus here. We take this coefficient and we divide it by two. So I'm going to get 12 over two. Now I need to do the same on the right hand side. It's going to be that coefficient divided by two, but it's going to be squared. Now we can tidy things up a little bit here. I've got x, plus 12 divided by 2 is 6, that is squared, is equal to 54, plus 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 6 squared is 36. So we've got x plus 6 squared is equal to 54 plus 36 is equal to 90. Now the next step is to eliminate this square term on the left. To do that, I'm going to take the square root. And obviously I need to do that to the right hand side. But I need to remember that when I take the square root of a number here, I'm going to get a positive and a negative answer to that. Now the square root and the squared will cancel on the left hand side. So I've got x plus 6. And here I've got the square root of 90. Now 90, let's think about that. 90, I can break that down into nine multiplied by 10. And this nine here is obviously a square number. And the square root of nine is three. So what I'm going to get is plus or minus, always remember that plus or minus, three root 10. Now, the next thing I need to do is to eliminate this 6 here. And I do that by subtracting 6 from both sides. On the left-hand side, we've got x. And on the right, we've got minus 6 plus or minus 3 root 10. So those are my two answers. I've got negative 6 plus 3 root 10 and negative 6 minus 3 root 10. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.